Well, unfortunately, there was nobody around uh, when it came time to make the kill, which I use a standard snake stick, homemade, just a piece of old dog dog lead, run down through a pipe to form a quick noose, snatch the ends, draw the noose tight around his little neck until you crush that neck and draw the neck into the pipe a little bit but here mostly I wanted to because this fellow is to show the sweetness of the fang structure and as we can see here a nice if that tags you you are dead or at least gonna go make a hospital trip here are the nice, very full, saturated venom sacs. I would rather imagine it hadn't been using its venom to catch the frogs down at the pond, which is what it was primarily interested in. Went down to where it had been and it saw me coming, sensed me coming. They cannot hear. Snakes are deaf, people. We look here, you see the pits where it sticks its tongue up in the roof of its mouth to sense the environment, sense the chemicals, smell, you might say. And there is the breathing tube right there, which is located at the bottom of the jaw so that when it is swallowing prey, it can still breathe. It's not back like us, it would be back here is the divide on a snake however and this goes for all snakes you will find the breathing tube here so they can suck air around the prey as it is swallowing the prey well, these are some sweet little fangs on this puppy I'm going to see if I can preserve the skull snake bones are very small fine as fish bones you wouldn't think that a little old needle that small could kill you or put you in a hospital for a long time and not to mention uh, just the anti-venom cost you know ten thousand twenty thousand dollars easy look at that needless to say it's a very mean-looking snake because it is a mean snake these are one of the ones that will pursue you if you get their dander up and we, we still have a little bit of muscle motion going as I pinch along the spine it goes to flatten out very obvious there see the flattening and I'm doing this in order to help burn off the oxygen that is supplying the uh, cells muscle cells so that it will quit moving around makes it a little bit easier for skinning now this snake has very rough coarse coarse scale structure which makes me wonder if maybe like the last water moccasin i had to deal with if it was preparing to shed there is the vent or butt, if uh, for those who don't know what a vent is, that's the butt. Everything comes out of one hole on a snake. They're, they are uh, mono something or others. But as you see, it's fairly fresh dead. It's still got some life left in it. Not enough, I hope, to hurt anybody anymore. Because if this, my dogs go down in that water in that creek where this snake was all the time. And it would tag them without thinking twice. With my little dog, it would kill them dead. Well, I'd kill them both dead. I can't afford antivenom for dogs. It's a human thing only. But a rather impressive little critter. You see the tongue. It's still moving, Haley.